Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How much capital gains tax do I pay? Capital gains tax applies to profits from the sale of assets. This includes stocks, real estate, and other investments. The amount you pay depends on several factors. First, the duration of asset ownership is crucial. Assets held for more than one year are subject to long-term capital gains tax rates. Short-term capital gains apply to assets held for one year or less. Long-term capital gains rates are generally lower than short-term rates. They can be 0, 15, or 20%, depending on your income level. Short-term gains are taxed as ordinary income, which can be higher. Next, your total taxable income plays a significant role. Higher income levels may push you into a higher capital gains tax bracket. Additionally, certain deductions and credits can affect your overall tax liability. There are also specific exemptions and exclusions. For example, selling your primary residence may allow you to exclude up to $250,000 of gain from taxation. Understanding your filing status can also impact your capital gains tax rate. For instance, married couples filing jointly may have different thresholds than single filers. It is advisable to consult a tax professional for personalized guidance. They can help you navigate the complexities of capital gains tax. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.